what's up what's up man i said so let me talk to you people today look i wake up like this <laughs> i just woke up like this yeah because i wanted to be real for you you know real with you people i wanted to so that you guys can like grab the meaning of what i'm trying to say to you you know what i'm trying to explain i wanted to be real that's why I came out like this. So that you can see me real. I'm not fake. Do you understand? So whatever I'm going to say to you today, it's not fake. It's real. Let's talk in life. Let's talk about the life abroad, overseas, wherever you are. Like, for example, I'm in America. Okay? So, the people back home expect you to take over their responsibilities. They expect you to carry their load on your head come on guys there is nothing different it's just the life just like you guys are living over there that's how we are living over here there might be a little bit of change here. people might say no there's a big change because look at you you so fat because why you were here you were so skinny okay a little bit different you so light why you were here you were so dark fine just a little bit different but all of this comes with hard work if you don't work hard you will never achieve anything you want to achieve if you just sit home and do nothing about your situation trust me you will never get what you want all of this comes with a hard work you will be in Africa you work hard and then you will see what your hard work give you wherever you are you work out in order for you to get where you want to get to in order for you to be where you want to be do you understand there is no different even self you, you we can even say the life over here in abroad is even more stressful than the life back home in africa because you can never hold your landlord the apartment property the apartment people you can never hold it here for one month no you can't do that if you do say maybe you you you're supposed to pay on the first between first to 15 and then you didn't pay between first to 15 i'm gonna sue you to court now you ain't gonna even talk to the person that give you an apartment but you're gonna be talking to the lawyer those are the people you're gonna be talking with so you have to work out in order for you to pay your apartment in order for you to pay where you are living otherwise they're gonna throw your things out of the home in Nigeria, you can hold your landlord or your landlady for five months or a year. You be telling them, oh, I will pay once I get a job. Oh, I will pay you people once I do this. But trust me, here, you cannot do that. If you miss just one month, you're going to be invited. Trust me, because they, they, they spend money in their apartment. They expect to get money back from you people from you so you have to make sure you pay your rent fine now you have your rent what you have cable you have eaten it you have phone and you have to eat you have utilities you know we pay our bills like you pay you pay more you spend more money here but if you don't work you cannot afford anything like this you have to work hard in order for you to be in the best place. You have to work hard in order for you to pay your bills. And then, and then you have your other people back home troubling you for money and other stuff. You have to take an extra hours in order for you to satisfy people back home. And yet, they will still be complaining that, oh, this is not enough. It's not enough. Look at you. You are enjoying. You are so this. You are so that. Why we are suffering? If it is hot, yeah, you have to go to work. If you don't drive, you take a bus. You stay in the heat waiting for a bus. And if you miss a bus, you have to wait for an hour in order for you to catch another bus. If it is deadly cold, yeah, you have to go to work. You don't call off, say, because you're sick, except the lazy ones. If you know what your achievement is, if you know what your goal is, you don't just call off, say, oh, I'm sick, or, oh, it's too cold, oh, it, it, it's too hot, I cannot go to work, oh, my headache, or I cannot go to work. Because you know, if you don't go to work, you're going to lose some of your payment. There are some people who don't have sick days. 
you know there are some people who don't have a uh, time and they have like other job they don't have some some people don't have benefits you have to work in order for you to make up because if you miss one day at work you go your paycheck is gonna be short so in order for your paycheck not to be short you have to always be at work so whatever we give to you people in Africa y'all have to take it like hold on to it because it's hard here we work hard for that money don't just go spend it anyhow and then you expect to get more no and then if you don't get more bad and then you become the bad guy no it's not supposed to be like that you have to work hard for yourself wherever you are in africa or home and abroad or abroad you have to work hard in order for you to get where you want to get to you have to work hard you have to work for it. You don't just stay home and be expecting manna to fall from the sky. No, no, no. Imagine, for instance, if I have to come to Africa to visit you, and then I'm going to be the one to pay my flight ticket. I'm going to be the one to feed everybody that I know or friends and family that will come visit me. I'm going to be the one to give them transportation and all the stuff. I'm going to be the one to pay for rent for for hotel or whatever i'm gonna be the one to do that but what if you come to visit me here in america i will be the one to pick you up from the airport i will be the one to take you anywhere you want to go i will be the one to house you i will be the one to feed you without asking for a penny back from you but the only thing you're probably gonna pay it will be for your ticket see Africa people don't want to help themselves. Even some people that help themselves, they work hard. But the ones that are so lazy, because they have somebody in overseas, they just want to be lazy and stay home and expect you to do everything for them. Life is not like that. Life is not like that. Okay? Y'all need to change. Both for mother or brother or sister. There is no job that is too little. The plates, the dishes that you will not, you will not wash, you will not wash back in Africa. But when you are not, when you are abroad, you will wash it. The toilet that you will not clean in Africa as a job. But when you are overseas, you will wash the toilet in order for you to get paid. So why can't you help yourself back home? Why? Why? Help yourself. There is nothing too little. There is nothing too big okay and stop jealousy the one who god has already blessed instead of it to be thanking god that the god that does yours will also do mine the, the god that did it for you will also do it for me too instead you be all paranoid and all this stuff mm -mm. we need to change our way we need to change our way fine we have fun over here you work hard for it if i want my face to be flawless it costs money. It's a lot of money. If I want to do a surgery for my heart, it's a lot of money. See, life is not perfect here. It is not. It's a hard hustle. People hustle here, man. Manna doesn't come, doesn't fall from the sky. You got to hustle for it. You got to hustle. So work hard, people in Africa. My especially our mamas. Oh, <laughs> uh, brothers and sisters, work, work hard. You don't want to do no dishes in Africa, but you want to go to Europe and do dishes. Eh? You don't want to clean toilets in Africa, but you want to go to Af uh, you know, you want to go to abroad and, and clean toilets. Fine, if you make it there, that's good. I'm not criticizing anybody. Everyone always look for a way out because of the economic system because of this synthetic world that we all are that is so difficult for once to even make one meal's hand to even eat just one a day once a day it's hard so i don't blame anybody that leave home and go overseas and do something better for them i mean if they do something good without doing drugs or all that stuff I mean, if they do, if they clean dishes that's fine that's good prolong you give prolong you give them money to feed, to buy one clothes and put it in their body and then they start taking pictures and posting it. 
<laughs> and start posting it on Facebook or Instagram. Everybody start hailing and say, Oh man, this is so cool, man. This guy is enjoying or oh, this guy is flexing. You don't know how hard that person work in order to get that money. <laughs> <laughs> to flash to buy all those flashing things eh you don't know how hard it is so please don't make not start to the jealousy or make not such a jealous people you no know good you no know good make with a jealous our fellow man whether you be my brother or you be my sister or you be my mama imagine you said the other day the other one they send message to his sister when they are brought say if mama don't die they much worry for what now and if mama never die you, all because of money. If they send a message, it say mama don't die. Waiting. Waiting. So what will it benefit you to lie? What what would be your benefit to lie? If you want something, you go ask. The Bible says ask and it shall be given. And if you not give you right away, you have to be patient. You have to be patient because people here when they, people when they here, they're not even they sleep eight hours. They don't even sleep eight hours. The highest they can sleep five hours because they have to go to job. They have to go to their job and work. Why would you lie to them? Why? So make could not be careful. Make could not be careful. Make could not try for not best. When people see the things you've done for yourself. At least they will say you try and if it's not too much of course they will help you if if you are not if you want more like you have to start first for yourself you have to start by yourself and then people will see they say oh you tried at least let me assist you with this one for you to improve you know get more no waiting for somebody to come and start laying foundation for you you have to lay foundation for yourself so so that we somebody will, will say it say you have tried at least at least if I assist you, I know how you will manage what you have. I know how you will carry on with this. Not me come and lay foundation for you and then tomorrow you come and say nothing they happen. You know Jen now. You know work like that. You know work like that. So now that one has to make I tell you now. The life in abroad and the life in home, it's kind of like the same. But here we even work more. We even work more than the people back home. When they enjoy on a Saturday and Sunday, when I go sleep, wake up anytime when I like, they go work. But here, five o'clock, people don't wake up in the morning. Come off for houses, enter house ten o'clock again. All in the name of getting a dollar. So, Mona, please, Mona, respect people when they are abroad because it's not easy. It's not easy at all. It's not easy. Mona, respect them and pray for them. That's all I'm going to say to you people. Just keep praying for the people you have overseas. Pray for them that one day God will remember you people too. And your life will turn around. One love and be blessed. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
all of this comes with a hard work you will be in africa you work hard and then you will see what your hard work give you wherever you are you work out in order for you to get where you want to get to in order for you to be where you want to be do you understand there is no difference even self you, you we can even say the life over here in abroad is even more stressful than the life back home in africa because you can never hold your landlord the apartment property the apartment people you can never hold it here for one month no you can't do that if you do say maybe you you you're supposed to pay on the first between first to 15 and then you didn't pay between first to 15 they're gonna sue you to court now you ain't gonna even talk to the person that give you an apartment but you're gonna be talking to the lawyer those are the people you're gonna be talking with so you have to work out in order for you to pay your apartment in order for you to pay where you are living otherwise they're gonna throw your things out of the home in Nigeria, you can hold your landlord or your landlady for five months or a year. You be telling them, oh, I will pay once I get a job. Oh, I will pay you people once I do this. But trust me, here, you cannot do that. If you miss just one month, you're going to be invited. Trust me, because they, they, they spend money in their apartment. They expect to get money back from you people from you so you have to make sure you pay your rent fine now you have your rent what you have cable you have internet you have phone and you have to the one they send message to his sister when they are brought say if mama don't die they much worry for what now and if mama never die you all because of money if they send a message it say mama don't die waiting waiting so what will it benefit you to lie what what would be your benefits to lie if you want something you will ask the bible says, ask and it shall be given and if you not give you right away you have to be patient you have to be patient because people here with the people with the they're not even they sleep eight hours they don't sleep eight hours the highest they can sleep five hours because they have to go to job they have to go to their job and work why would you lie to them why so make could not be careful. Make could not be careful. Make could not try for not best. When people see the things you've done for yourself, at least they will say you try. And if it's not too much, of course they will help you. If if you are not, if you want more, like you have to start first for yourself. You have to start by yourself. And then people will see. They say, oh, you tried. At least let me assist you with this one, for you to improve. You know, get more. No waiting for somebody to come and start laying foundation for you. You have to lay foundation for yourself so, so that we, somebody will, will say it, say you have tried at least. At least if I assist you, I know how you will manage what you have. I know how you will carry on with this. Not me come and lay foundation for you and then tomorrow you come and say nothing they happen. You know, Jen, now. You know, work like that. You know, work like that. So now that one has to make I tell you now. The life in abroad and the life in home, it's kind of like the same. But here we even work more. We even work more than the people back home. When they enjoy on Saturday and Sunday, when I go sleep, wake up anytime when I like, they go work. But here, at 5 o'clock, people don't wake up in the morning. Come off for houses, enter house 10 o'clock again. Or in the name of getting a dollar. So Mona, please, Mona, respect people when they are abroad because it's not easy. It's not easy at all. It's not easy. Mona, respect them and pray for them. That's all I'm going to say to you people. Just keep praying for the people you have overseas. Pray for them that one day God will remember you people too and your life will turn around. One love and be blessed. <laughs> Bye. You have to work out in order for you to pay your apartment, in order for you to pay where you are living. Otherwise, they're going to throw your things out of the home. 
in Nigeria, you can hold your landlord or your landlady for five months or a year. You be telling them, oh, I will pay once I get a job. Oh, I will pay you people once I do this. But trust me, here, you cannot do that. If you miss just one month, you're going to be invited. Trust me, because they, they, they spend money in their apartment. They expect to get money back from you people from you so you have to make sure you pay your rent fine now you have your rent what you have cable you have internet you have phone and you have to eat you have utilities you know we pay our bills like you pay you pay more you spend more money here but if you don't work you cannot afford anything like this you have to work hard in order for you to be in the best place. You have to work hard in order for you to pay your bills. And then, and then you have your other people back home troubling you for money and all that stuff. You have to take an extra hours in order for you to satisfy people back home. And yet, they will still be complaining that, oh, this is not enough. It's not enough. Look at you. You are enjoying. You are so this. You are so that. Why we are suffering? If it is hot, yeah, you have to go to work. If you don't drive, you take a bus. You stay in the heat waiting for bus. And if you miss a bus, you have to wait for an hour in order for you to catch another bus. If it is deadly cold, yeah, you have to go to work. You don't call off, say, because you're sick, except the lazy ones. If you know what your achievement is, if you know what your goal is, you don't just call off, say, oh, I'm sick, or, oh, it's too cold, oh, it, it, it's too hot, I cannot go to work, oh, my headache, or I cannot go to work, because you know, if you don't go to work, you're going to lose some of your payment. There are some people who don't have sick days, you know, there are some people who don't have uh, time and they have like other jobs, they don't have some, some people don't have benefits. You have to work in order for you to make up because if you miss one day at work, you're gonna, your paycheck is going to be short. So in order for your paycheck not to be short, you have to always be at work. So whatever we give to you people in Africa, y'all have to take it. Like, hold on to it because it's hard here. We work hard for that money. Don't just go spend it anyhow and then you expect to get more. No. And then if you don't get more bad, and then you become the bad guy. No, it's not supposed to be like that. You have to work hard for yourself wherever you are in Africa or home and instead you be all paranoid and all this stuff. Mm -mm. We need to change our way. We need to change our way. Fine, we have fun over here. You work hard for it. If I want my face to be flawless, it costs money. It's a lot of money. If I want to do a surgery for my heart, it's a lot of money. See, life is not perfect here. It is not. It's a hard hustle. People hustle here, man. Mana doesn't, doesn't fall from the sky. You got to hustle for it. You got to hustle. So work hard, people in Africa. Especially our mamas. <laughs> our brothers and sisters work work hard you don't want to do no dishes in africa but you want to go to europe and do dishes eh you don't want to clean toilets in africa but you want to go to Af uh, in our, you want to go to abroad and, and clean toilets fine if you make it there that's good i'm not criticizing anybody everyone always look for a way out because of the economic system because of this synthetic world that we all are that is so difficult for once to even make one meal's hand to even eat just one a day once a day it's hard so i don't blame anybody that leave home and go overseas and do something better for their life i mean if they do something good without doing drugs or all that stuff I mean, if they do, if they clean dishes that's fine that's good prolong you give prolong you give them money to feed, to buy one clothes and put it in their body and then they start taking pictures and posting it <laughs> and start posting it on Facebook or Instagram everybody start hailing and say oh man this is so cool man this guy is enjoying or oh, this guy is flexing you don't know how hard that person work in order to get that money <laughs> to 
for flash to buy all those flashing things eh you don't know how hard it is so please don't make not start to the jealousy or make not start to jealous people you no know good you know good make with the jealous our fellow man whether you be my brother or you be my sister or you be my mama imagine you said the other day the other one they send message to his sister when they are brought say if mama don't die they much worry for what now and if mama never die you all because of money if they send a message it say mama don't die waiting waiting so what will it benefit you to lie what what would be your benefit to lie if you want something you go ask the Bible says, ask and it shall be given. And if he not give you right away, you have to be patient. 